Hi, I'm Jody Greenwood, Rector of Church of the Servant in Wilmington, North Carolina, and I'm joined here by Blair Bach, a retired priest in the Diocese of East Carolina. We come together today to provide an opportunity for us to worship together in the midst of the winds that are swirling and the sea that is churning and the unrest that we're feeling right now amid the storms that have been going on for days. Our preparations have made us weary and now it's time for us to take a moment and stop, to pray together, to be together, and to worship God. And so we invite you to join us virtually as we gather and give praise and thanks to God for all that we have and we gain strength for the work that lies ahead of us. So if you have friends and family with you, feel free to invite them or you can do this individually. If you have a candle, we encourage you to light it and to give yourself some space for worship. You are the light of the world, a city on the hill, a candle in the dark. We gather as we are and where we are to worship you, our creator, redeemer, and sustainer. O oh Lord, when the waters rage and foam, still the storms and grant us your peace when the gift of creation becomes a burden still the storms and grant us your peace when our fears threaten to overtake us still the storms and grant us your peace speak your word to the wind and to the sea fill us with faith show us your care in the service of others. Fill us with compassion. Make the joy of your peace overflow in our lives. Fill us with hope. Psalm 46. God is our refuge and strength, a very present help in trouble. Therefore, we will not fear, though the earth should change, though the mountains shake in the heart of the sea, Though its waters roar and foam, though the mountains tremble with its tumult, there is a river whose streams make glad the city of God, the holy habitation of the Most High. God is in the midst of the city. It shall not be moved. God will help it when the morning dawns. The nations are in an uproar. The kingdoms totter. He utters his voice. The earth melts. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. Come, behold the works of the Lord. See what desolations he has brought on the earth. He makes wars cease to the end of the earth. He breaks the bow and shatters the spear. He burns the shields with fire. Be still and know that I am God. I am exalted among the nations. I am exalted in the earth. The Lord of hosts is with us. The God of Jacob is our refuge. A reading from the Gospel according to Mark. On that day when evening had come, he said to them, Let us go across to the other side. And leaving the crowd behind, they took him with them in a boat, just as he was. Other boats were with him. A great gale arose, and the waves beat into the boat, so that the boat was already being swamped. But he was in the stern, asleep on the cushion, and they woke him up and said to him, Teacher, do you not care that we are perishing? He woke up and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace, be still. Then the wind ceased and there was a dead calm. He said to them, Why are you afraid? Have you still no faith? And they were filled with great awe and said to one another, Who then is this, that even the wind and the sea obey him? The word of the Lord.
Christ the Lord, cornerstone, weak made strong in the Savior's love. Through the storm, He is Lord, Lord of all. Is all this come? Together we pray for our world, the church, and all those in need. Gracious God, you are our refuge and strength, a very present help in time of trouble. In the wake of Hurricane Florence, reveal your presence to those across North and South Carolina and along the coast, so that all may know your healing, hope, and love. As one community on earth bounded together by your grace, Inspire us to pray, serve, and help all those who suffer. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our prayer. God of earth and air, water and fire, height and depth, we pray for those who work in danger, who rush in to bring hope and help and comfort when others flee to safety, whose mission is to seek and save, serve and protect, and whose presence embodies the protection of the Good Shepherd. Give them caution and concern for one another, so that in safety they may do what must be done under your watchful eye. Support them in their courage and dedication, that they may continue to save lives, ease pain, and mend the torn fabric of lives and social order. Lord, in your mercy, Hear our prayer. God with us, make us ready to put our prayer into action and to embody your care to one another. In days, weeks, and months to come, awaken us to the needs of our neighbor, near and far, and unite us to be a sign of your hope. Give us eyes to see and ears to hear how we will be a sign of your healing. Lord, in your mercy. Hear our God of all creation, when our news feed seems to only speak of our own immediate worry, we remember those in need of prayer beyond us. The sick, the lonely, the heartbroken, the hungry, and those living in fear. We pray especially for those whose names we speak aloud or hold in our hearts now. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. We entrust all these prayers to you, those spoken aloud and held in the silence of our hearts. We trust in your promise to hear us, to intercede for us even when we don't know what to say, and to abide with us no matter what. We pray in the name of Jesus Christ, our salvation and hope. Amen. Amen. 
Now let your servants depart in peace according to your gracious word. Our eyes have seen the glory of salvation prepared for all the people of the world. Now may the Lord bless you and keep you and make his face shine upon you. And may God lift his countenance upon you and give you blessed peace now and evermore. Amen.